We're wrapping up my polo lessons in Buenos Aires, Argentina on today's Logan Lee's Adventures in Style. That means we have some exciting polo match to watch, more horses to play polo on, and then meeting up with my dear friend Lucio's to celebrate wrapping up my polo lessons adventures at what is the world's number one steakhouse right here in Argentina's capital, Don Julio. Morning! It has been such an incredible journey with Polo in Buenos Aires. If you don't know yet, I've been, well, you should have checked out all my other previous times where I've been doing Polo lessons in Buenos Aires. Well, kind of in Buenos Aires, it's in the north of the region. So it's about an hour drive to the Polo Club. Uh, and every single Sunday morning, I wake up early. It's really quite early. What are the guys? Gracias. And I head off to my polo practice, which is, which is yeah, in the north of the city, and it's so exciting because I feel like my journey. Buenos dias. Good. How are you? Gracias. You're welcome. That is my driver. So I get picked up actually uh, every morning uh, for the drive and then I get dropped off later. Uh, the lesson is about two hours. It starts at 9.30 a.m. and then I come back into Cava, into the city about at 1.30, around, around then. But it's so cool because the days are gonna be out in nature, in the countryside, at the club, especially when the days are like blue skies like this. <laughs> and I get to spend some really great time on and with my polo pony and my trainer who is just Sabrina who is just super awesome and just really like uh, goes goes hard on me but it's great because I get like the lessons and the practice that I'm here for and it's awesome because in Argentina it's known and the pole of the best polo players in the world comes from here and originates from here before they go off and travel and work work in different places abroad so to be part of this tradition slash experience here is uh, I just feel so lucky every single time um, so even though I am dead from going out the previous night before I always just take it really chill and enjoy the the ride there because also the nice it passes the Tigre region or it is in the Tigre region but passes the city of Tigre as well and around there is a beautiful delta so a really nice scenery on this relaxing drive out of the city back in my second home at the polo club so last time when I had my lesson uh, we had to use the arena because there was a polo match here and then this time I get to be back out on the field again to train. <laughs> Look at the horses.
okay, this lesson was hard. It was a lot of technique. Sorry, I'm just taking off my riding boots right now. And, but I learned a lot. <laughs> and of course, I'm looking forward to post polo tradition with some yummy empanadas. Ooh. Catching my breath while I change and then dive right into eating because well worth it. <laughs> Okay, they have a whole performance going on here, as you can hear in the background. I'm here at the Polo Stadiums, ready for the game, and this performance. Sculpture greeting you just at the beginning every single time we come here. We have this whole band for this match this time. Honestly, every single match is like something new, I swear. This honestly is the best way to chill after a morning, afternoon, just learning polo. To watch polo now, <laughs> apply what I learned to see. Actually, that doesn't work. Watch what I just learned. <laughs> Okay, this game just started and it's so intense already. Italia. Okay. This is my second game ever watching in this stadium. And it's so impresses me every single time. Just how beautiful the stadium is, being surrounded by the middle of my city, of Palermo, my neighborhood as well, and also always getting the whole freaking area to myself. Just because it's free and there's so many places you can sit, as you can see, so you can sit anywhere for free. And well, why not just flop yourself? Yeah, there's no arranged seating or anything. You just come in and it's like a regular 
afternoon slash evening at the polo matches. <laughs> Se viene Eloy Wilson Smith a toda carrera. Se queda la bocha, rebota en las tablas. Gran jugada Eloy, se viene Eloy para Inglaterra. Fíjense cómo por se queda entre las dos jugadoras. Gran tiro de Eloy, se viene Eloy para el gol. Gran jugada de ella, está, 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 está. Fuerte el aplauso, golazo de la Golazo de estas chicas. Gran nivel de Eloy Wilson Smith. Yo, that was crazy. Oh my God. So intense. Hey, Eloy, what are you doing? Let's go. 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 Let's go.
So it looks like the thin flank steak will be white. So we're deciding between the... This side is the, the flank, flank steak. Yeah. The other side is the tenderloin steak. Okay. Oh shit. <laughs> Okay, it's a tenderloin steak. Tenderloin okay. steak it is! Good, <laughs> <laughs> it makes it easy to decision. So we also get these little mini empanadas to start with. So, here's my map. Sacar una foto, eso. Muy bien. ¿Tú Listo. It's actually really light. Really good, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Got a few starters to begin with, especially this spicy salami as well. Gracias. Gracias. And it looks like meat. Yeah. <laughs> Must be meat. Huh? Or it sounded like sweet bread, but the sweet bread is actually meat. Um, Neither bread nor sweet. sweet. <laughs> is it is it a uh, juicy? Like yeah, it looks juicy. Juicy. Should try it. Hmm. Yeah. Good, huh? This is so good. <laughs> Holy smoke! I think it's made like with, with uh, some some uh, fat parts of yeah. the meat, you know. Yeah. Oh, I love really this. Good, really good. Really like good. Like any any fatty, juicy. I, I yeah. absolutely love. I'm glad to hear that. A lot of people don't like it, no. but I think it's amazing. Oh my god, I love it. That's why he said you should try half portion. Exactly. Just in case. Because a lot of people yeah. don't like it. Yeah. Oh, it's this is incredible. <laughs> Holy smokes. The lemon just activates it magically. I don't know what it is, but it's an like explosion of flavors and like tenderness in my mouth. It's literally, I feel like I'm having orgasms over and over in my mouth. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> mm, there you go again. <laughs> <laughs> Gracias. Gracias. This looks good. Amazing. <laughs> oh, look at that. That is art. They got it perfect. So excited. That. <laughs> you were like a little bit more bite and more. It's serious when the bib comes on. <laughs> That's how you know. <laughs> We are so full, like stuffed. Yes, yes, the yes. Bib. <laughs> like this is a white surrender flag. Yes, <laughs> the shirt is stuffing soon. <laughs>
So we're definitely gonna get, we didn't even finish. You know how much of a big eater I am. We're just gonna get all this pop. Go. Go. We're sitting outside the terrace, of course, but inside the restaurant, I just came in to check it out. It's so beautiful as well. I love the exposed brick and like it's double floors. And uh, you can see there's like an open area where you can see all the meat being grilled. It is phenomenal inside of the and out. All right, look how cute these takeaway boxes are. Takeaway bag. It's like, I love it. Every little detail at Don Julio is, they, they don't leave anything behind here. That is truly why this is the t one of the top restaurants in Latin America because, I mean, this is a mecca for steak, a mecca for meat and did we pray well here? <laughs> now this is how you celebrate the end of your polo lessons. <laughs> Extravagant? Yes. Appropriate? Definitely. <laughs> It may be the end of my polo lessons for now, but it's far from the end of my time living in Buenos Aires, Argentina. Leave me a comment below, hit the thumbs up button, and subscribe if you haven't already because in the next video, I'll be exploring more of Argentina's capital and taking you along with me.